everybody. How you doing? Um, I'm just going to do one, a small one, just like I did last night of the 20 by 24. Um, I want to show Linda, especially Linda, what paints I use in just the same order I did it in. Okay. Um, let's see. I use black artist loft flow and I love that because when I add flow trawl it stays nice and black you know so I don't use craft smart black only because of that reason it tends to turn gray um, so I have my bottles that were already pre-mixed almost gone because I used I did two paintings with these colors last night except for one of them I added native turquoise with this turquoise or this one I mean so I have the craft smart regular acrylic paint and uh, they just tend to sell up <laughs> when there's setting in my bottles at least one day that was it because actually yesterday I did the purple and the turquoise and the pale blue um, the bright blue I did about a week ago I don't have any more of that the bottles and the garbage so anyway this will sell up if you use the, all these they're like matte uh, pale blue And turquoise. That's it. And the bright blue, of course. Okay, so don't have any more black in my bottle either because I used them all last night. But I did manage to clean up <laughs> after my mess. So I have an 8x10 and that requires about 3 ounces. And three ounces is about up to this top line here. Um, I went ahead and I tightened up my canvas. And that's it. Everything is just pre-mixed with two parts flow trawl, one part paint, and just enough water to bring them all to the same warm honey consistency. That's what I do. Well, with the Craft Smart, you do not have to add a lot of water. That's for sure. Now, black, you add just a little bit more water than Craft Smart. But I still use two parts flow trial for all of them. It doesn't matter what paint I use. Okay. I use my Artist Lofts. Okay. These, even in the tubes, I'll use two parts flow trial. And then a little bit of water, you know. The Craft Smart, hardly any water, just a little bit. And the flow, this Artislaw flow, is very similar to the tube. Some water with that too, so. Not a whole lot. Okay, get started here. So I did a lot of black in those, I believe, if I can remember. Yep. Now I gotta remember I'm doing a three ounces here, so not a whole lot. Let's see, what did I do next? I used pale blue. Oops. In there, but there's some. Uh, it's most likely gonna sink, and that's exactly what it's doing. It's like a mat, it'll just sink right down. Okay, so then I used turquoise, that's right. 
I think I did it in this order. I, maybe I didn't. Maybe I put the... Oh, it don't matter. But there we go. Look at that. Just sinks right down. And then I did my purple. I had just enough. Bubbly though, because there's there was not a lot in my bottles left. I did two paintings with these. I'll show them to you. Well, I showed you the one. I don't think I showed you the other one, but I did post the other picture on my group. Okay, now the blue. That's it. I think I used a little more black than I should have, but we're good. And let me get my stir stick. I'll just do like a little swirl. And most of you are all familiar with my pores because I kind of stick with the same. But this is how I did the 20 by 24. I just went like that. And that was it. Uh, did I do diagonal on that one? No, I didn't. I did not put a base coat down. Just immediately start to sell up because of the different density paint with the artist loft being different density. It's an opaque and uh, yeah, pigments are different. They just react differently together. And that's it. You know, these bottles do not say matte on them. It don't even tell you if they're opaque either. But I'm almost sure they're matte. You know, when it's just plain acrylic paint, it's pretty much matte. <clears throat> it's not satin. It's not transparent. That's for sure. And then I just kind of give it a little movement just to, you know, get the densities to hit each other. I'm not that close. It sounds like I am, but I'm not. <laughs> I don't even have to torch these, but I am because I shook my bottle. Pop them bubbles. And down low. There we go. I bring it back this way. Wipe this because I didn't want to get stuck underneath my pan. Then I can't twist my pan. It's like last night I had it so bad I couldn't even turn my pan anymore. You see, it's sliding now, but it got so wet underneath, I couldn't do anything. So, that was pretty much it.
my turquoise didn't come down here too much. Obviously, I didn't pour it. It all depends upon how you pour. Couldn't see it because it sunk in there and there was so much black. There we go. Center it back in the middle and watch it sell up. It does look similar. That's funny. <laughs> oh, I'll bet you there's a little chunk in there. That's why it did that. It sh there sure was. That's why that little bit of a chunk caused this disfiguration. So, yeah, I didn't see it. Always look for those. But, uh, you can always run that off too. But we don't want to because then we're going to lose all our cells. We'll leave it alone. You can always pour over it too. You know? That's a bummer. Hmm. Let's see. I don't like it. A little bit right there. So, yeah, if I tilt, I'm going to lose the cells. I suppose I could pour over that area. Well, I don't have no more purple left, so. Now we'll just tilt it. But anyway, here's the, it would, the way it would have been. And that's something. Just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's it. That's from Craft Smart. I think you pay about um, $5 for this size. Yeah. Four or three? What is it? Maybe three. And then the bigger size, I do have some silver in. This size is six. Now that's the metallic. So that's a different. That's not really a matte. Um, yeah, we'll just tilt it. Uh, let's see what happens. How much do we have in here? Yeah, we can, we can tilt it off there. I'll stretch a lot of those cells, but at least you got to see them. <laughs> okay. I just didn't like that. That When you get something that's sticking in there, it drags it. So that's kind of neat. Out right in the middle. There we go. So that didn't hurt it too bad. It did stretch them a little bit here, but yeah, I wouldn't have wanted to keep that. <laughs> and make sure it's just centered back again. And give her a good torch. One more. And it's just going to keep selling up. Now see the blue here? Starting to sell up some. I sit here for a good 15 minutes. This thing will keep selling up. It's crazy. So yeah. Kind of neat. I like this one. Should make another one and make a set out of that one. With those same colors. But it's uh... With this camera, with the light, it is very, very hard to see the turquoise. For some reason, it turns it like lime green. It was doing that like all night. 
But see, it's daylight too, so probably a little bit better today. Yeah, because it was completely dark with just my camera light. But yeah, it's, this is cool. I like this one. I love this focal point right here. That was really neat. All right. So you can see all those little cells in the blue area. That's just going to keep on going. You can see all the small ones right there in the blue. That'll keep selling up. Of course, these got stretched. That's okay. They're still cool. I have to make up more today, and I don't have any more blue. I'll have to go to uh, Michael's, get some bright blue. Yeah, I love the black with it. And then where air, little areas where you see white, that's the pale blue. So that's why I don't even use white when I use pale blue because it kind of substitutes for the white. This is neat. Yeah, it's very similar. Okay. So that worked out nice. This is a keeper for sure. Um, so yeah, this can keep on going here. This will, of course, the blue is continuing to go, so... I've got a good 15 minutes from now, all this will probably be sold up. You know, just blow on them and they pop up. See all those? There they are. More. I love that purple stripe of cells, too, down there. This is sure pretty. This one is very, very pretty. All different combined together. And then the turquoise right here with the blue. Bright blue didn't seem to want to sell up too much, though. I don't know why, because I know that unless that was a satin, it could have been. I don't have the bottle, though. I can't remember. Anyway, I'll take the uh, phone down and show you the other one I did with these same colors. Okay? There it is. Now this is 16 by 20. I like this one because um, I did it diagonally. Well, kitty corner. Went from one corner to the other. The same way like an S. Kind of broke up the S, went back up again, but I did it that way. But I like this one. And it's dry and it's still even wet. I see a cat hair in there. Man. Right there. I can't probably see it. No, you can't see the hairs. Anyway, this one turned out really cool, too. Same colors, but... Oh, I use native turquoise and turquoise with this one. But everything else is the same. Bright blue, purple, turquoise, native turquoise, and black. Oh, and I used white with this one, too. I love that white stripe right there. Let's see, and I did this one too. This was uh, 16 by 20. Oh, this was metallics. Cobalt blue, metallic purple. These were artist lofts. Um... 
And what else? Native turquoise. And white. I did get a few cells here and there. I accidentally pushed the volume button and it turned it off. <laughs> but I was saying I did get some cells. But this one I had to stretch. Because there was something I didn't like in it. That's right. In the corner, there was something. And I had to stretch that one way out. But it originally, it had some cells when I poured it. But I think it's pretty. And th that's my Ruby. Say hi, Ruby. What are you doing? What? What you doing? What? Oh, aren't you cute? Oh, did the chubbies? What? Oh, you're so cute. She's a pretty ruby girl. She's about seven years old, stretching now. <laughs> And then here was the 20 by 24. <laughs> She's just so cute. So that's similar to the one we just did. It even has, you notice how the blue did not sew up on this one either? It did kind of lace, the black laced around it right here. And then of course right here, there's those strips of blue. They didn't really sew up. So I don't see any cells of blue. I'm thinking that might have been satin. Sure wish I had that bottle. But all those are the same colors. This one didn't have the native turquoise in it, though. That was pretty cool, though. It's dry and good. Hasn't changed at all. And let's see. This was... A swipe I did if you guys remember with almost the same colors I use yellow though and that's without silicone with uh, my craft smart bottle pre-mixed bottles no silicone in that swipe you know what I'm looking at this right now and do you see that blue shine? So the blue is a satin. Okay, all the rest were matte. That's why that blue is not selling up. I was wondering. So I could have swore that would have had to be a satin. And sure enough, looking at this, you can see the blue is shimmery. And all the rest is not. And this has not been glossed yet. See, that's matte. It's like a chalky, you know. Well, that's it. And my flowers dried very beautiful. Real nice. Real happy with that one. And that funny one that selled up. <laughs> That one is just crazy, you cells. See, I messed up on one of these two, and I had to pour some black in that spot. So you can see the discoloration, too. You know how you mess up, and you'll pull off all that black? And I did this one, too, because it didn't sell up. So I don't really like this one. But a lot of people have said they do. I know the light's really shining on here. Oh, that's it. And I have these setting up here ready to be glossed today. Uh, look at all my paintings. <laughs> it's a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Those are all 8x10s down there stacked with each other. A lot of people say that they stick. And they have to put parchment paper between them. 
but I'll tell you oh well, something happened again when you use polycrylic they do not stick they don't hurt each other at all there's nothing sticking they make a stick noise to unstick but they don't stick like all these are glossed see just make a small little but you do not have to put anything in between them with polycrylic well and I live in Arizona so climate has a lot to do with it too so be careful they're best to put uh, now these are all needing to be glossed this one needs to be glossed that one's pretty I like that one uh, this was a turquoise mat and you can see the black shimmer on this one and the turquoise mat on here it's like a chalky completely different that's what's cool about this one it looks like leather actually I thought it was so cool all right well that's it say bye Ruby say bye bye we well, can say goodbye you can say goodbye where's Sophie the kitty at what's her doing see how she kicks her leg out of excitement it's always the leg has to go up and down oh it's so funny oh it's so cute <laughs> yes how come you have to kick the leg along with the tail the wiggling <laughs> you're funny <laughs> this is my angel room it's where i keep all my angel stuff all my Little angels in my cabinet. Got my walls up there. Everything in here is angels. Little angel stuff. Little. And then, oh, I put those angel wings in here. Kind of doesn't really match a whole lot. I swear that looks like a wig. Hair. Alrighty, let's go back to the picture. But I think my camera's actually getting hot. That's what it is. I kept clicking off. So we're set. Let's look at it. Let's see how it's changed. Well, not a whole lot in the blue. Pretty cool though. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one now. Bye-bye.